Okay, and welcome back. We have had a packed schedule this morning. I hope you have learned a lot this morning. And we're gonna learn one more thing today. Um, we've been talking and announcing every morning the self-defense, the women's, women's <laughs> self-defense class yes. that uh, is gonna be held in Rocky Mount uh, by both sheriffs, I believe. Um, tell us yes, a little bit about when, where, and what. So yes, Sandra, uh, the women's self-defense and a defensive shooting class mm -hmm. is going to be held uh, next Wednesday and Thursday, the 26th and 27th. Okay. CPF Training Center, 2725 okay. North Church Street in Rocky Mount. It used right. to be the powder yeah. keg. Yes, if right. You know now. where that building is. Yes, ma'am. Know how to get there. Right down the road, and it's going to be taught by Sheriff Clee Atkinson, Edgecombe County Sheriff, Sheriff Keith Stone, Nash County Sheriff. Uh, both sheriffs have extensive training, coaching mentalities, and um, combined years of service, you're going to get well over 60 years of experience in this class being taught. And basically, we're going to go over some situational awareness. It will be hands-on training if you want to participate. Right. Um, well, I like the situational awareness because sometimes we don't think about it. We're so busy. We don't think about things. No, ma'am. And no, then all of a sudden, you're in trouble. That's correct. Um, we're going to go over, you know, you have uh, areas such as, you know, Walmart, mm -hmm. Target, shopping centers. Yes, um, absolutely. And, and if you, you know, you get caught up in the day-to-day -day activities, yeah. especially when you're focused, hey, I need to run in, grab this, yes. and I'm not paying attention to uh, your surroundings, mm -hmm. unfortunately. And we're going to go over some things to, to detect that um, awareness and situation before it happens right. and then things you can do in case you are right. um, caught up in a situation. You know today's climate has changed a whole yes. lot oh, over the yes. years. Absolutely it has um, and we do need to be more aware but you know us women we go in we shop we that's what we're thinking about <laughs> getting home and trying on our clothes we just bought but unfortunately um, the bad guy can be lurking. Yes ma'am so uh we will go it will be some hand, hand <clears throat> excuse me uh, some hands-on training like like we went over right. now if unfortunately you cannot participate in that we still welcome you to come okay. and get the information it's going to be very informative uh day one will be mostly the hands-on part by sheriff atkinson right. um defensive tactics area you know he was a a lead instructor at the highway patrol yes in in doing that um and day two sheriff stone will come in we'll go over some scenarios show some videos and we'll go in the gun range indoor gun range and if again if the attendee w wants to participate in that you know we'll, we'll shoot uh, 20 rounds inside right. the range and, and they can get a feel and it also be a reintroduction to the firearm mm -hmm. for some somebody that's taken the course that is well. a very uh, nice gun range too, folks. I took my concealed carry in there. Just a very nice range too. It is, so, it is. Um, so first day will be Sheriff Atkinson and he will be doing the tactical Yes, ma'am. Uh, it will have some mats laid out. Um, and it's not gonna be aggressive um, yeah. to a certain point. You know, I think we'll get, you know, the, the the blood flowing and, yes. and, and warmed up and and we will use some impact weapons such as a you know a aspaton just to right. show you some techniques and, and he will show right. you some techniques and, and how do you get out of this if somebody correct. grabs you from behind or from here from there um, what's some easy ways to get out of that right i think you'll be some some wrist locks some, some waist defensive mm -hmm. tactic areas and, and things of that nature yeah yeah yes ma'am so that's very good and both sheriffs are like you said just so so well trained and they so are I, I don't think you you're going to find any two sheriffs right in the state of north carolina that partner the way right. these that two work do together like they do. Uh, they, that police you know train support and partnership with their yes. citizens anywhere Absolutely. I, i've been all over the state in in several departments and and i can't say that, that these two are the best right they are the best I've, right. I've known them from years and, and that's just not coming over yeah, like well i say the same thing i've known them both for a while and, and they're just great so how do you sign up for this so they can um call my number or text my number i'm gonna give that to everybody it's 
252-813-8898. I'll say it again, 252-813-8898. Okay. And so do we need to bring anything? No, ma'am. So what we, uh, I just put out there that come comfortably dressed. Okay. Tennis shoes, shorts, you know, sweatpants if right. you have them. Don't wear your high heels, heels, please. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. <laughs> um, comfortable clothing. Right. And just come ready to, to take in and uh, a lot of information. And it, it will be a lot of information. And I always say it's good. You know, I have a daughter that's going into college this right. August. And it's going to be good for that, that age group that, that's going into college to Absolutely. give them something to think about while they're away at school and away from home. Yes. Yes, I think so. And, you know, that is a good thing. It's a good thought. Because if you do have children, you know, I call them children, yes, that are going into college, um, hey, they're going to be alone now. They're going to be without mom and daddy. They're going to mm -hmm. be staying in a dorm or an apartment. They're going to be walking campus. Hey, they need to know these things. They really do. Yes, ma'am. And I, I always tell them, you know, I, she, she kind of rolls her eyes sometimes. And, and these, right. um, her friends, I say, look, always go in groups. Yes. Go in pairs yes. anywhere yes. you go. And I always agree. pay attention to your surroundings. Because mm -hmm. yes. you never know. It only takes a second for something to, to go wrong. That's right. That's exactly right. So, how much does this cost? Uh, the class is $100, but that covers both days. That covers That's the two days. two days for the instructors and the guns and the ammo that we'll be using in the range. Right. And I, I think for the price that, that you're not going to get this type of instruction anywhere else. No, I don't think so. And um, it, it'll be well worth it. It really will. The, the information you learn and the awareness that it will create, I think, in your mind. Yes, ma'am. That you really didn't have before. Um, yeah. Um, it's $100. Get a group, ladies. Get a group. Your church group. Yes. Sunday school group. Your neighbors. You know, yes. A group of neighbors. Because sometimes we don't want to go by ourselves. We're thinking, you know, we're a little intimidated to do these things. So get a group, and it'll be fun. You can, you know, just have a good time. Make it fun, but uh, make it. It'll be very beneficial to all of you. It so. will, and I, and I've already had several signed up. They're bringing a group. You good. know, th their work. Hey, this is great. I'll bring a few few of my coworkers and. You know, this will lead into Sandra. You know, the sheriffs also teach a concealed carry class yes. every month. Mm -hmm. And the following week, you know, we will be holding our concealed carry class at the same location at CPF as well. Right. So they may want to do this, and then you can just transition right on into the concealed carry. And yes. that will just carry you all the way through, and, and you'll really be trained. So um, this is really a good thing. I'm glad... I'm glad they're doing this for women because, and you know, somebody asked last time, can the men come and watch? I say no, stay out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> they, um, they, we've had that question, and I think you know, if, if they want to come and sit and and, and observe, they're mm -hmm. they're welcome to do that. Yeah, I'm sure they are. I'm sure the sheriffs will will welcome you in. So they don't will. worry, welcome they're not as mean arms. as me. So. But anyway, yeah, I think this will be beneficial, and I hope some of you will sign up, and, and it could potentially save your life if it you could. know what to do. Because, you know, I would say, most people would say, what do I do? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And again, I'll, I'm just going to give my number again, 252-813-8898. And please call if you have any questions. Yeah. I'd be glad to answer any you questions. Can call and ask questions, and, and, but let me make this clear. Physically, if you do not want to do the, if you don't want to get down on the mats or you don't want to do the um, exercise, first, the exercise the part, shooting, yes. if you just want to watch others or watch and listen, you are welcome to do that. that you is don't correct. think you've got to participate in the um, physical part of it. You don't. But then again, you may want to. So, but I just want to let you know that you don't have to do that part of it. So you mm. can just watch if you like. Yes, we'd love so, to have you. Yes, absolutely. So give the number one more time. 252-813-8898. Call Greg. Yes. All right.
Thank, thank you. you for watching this morning. Thank you, Greg, for yes, coming. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Absolutely. And we will be back with you tomorrow morning, myself, by myself, unless I find a co-host between now and then. Make it a great day.